Hi guys, welcome to this session in Google Docs. What I want to cover in this module is how you can create a table of contents that will automatically link to various sections of your document. So to be able to use the table of contents feature, you have to set your headings using heading styles. So the document on the screen has heading styles. So there's the word introduction and you can see there it's set to heading one. If I click into program, that's down as normal text. But if I highlight that, I can set that to a heading style as well. Just click on apply heading style two and that's now heading style two. Chapter one is heading one already. And as you come down through this document, if you click into the various headings, you can see what they're at. All of these are either heading ones or twos. Now to create a table of contents first of all I'm just going to press enter to come down a line now that line is still heading one but I need to put that back to normal text just click on that so it's doesn't take up that so much space now you can give yourself a title here or you can just leave it as it is but to insert a table of contents you need to go to the insert menu right down the very bottom you've got table of contents with two options links or just plain text. So I'll show you the links one first. Basically, it's just a, a hyperlink to the various elements in your document. So the cursor has just gone to program. If I click on introduction and then click that link, it comes back to introduction. So I'm just going to do control Z to undo that and do the other option. So insert table of contents and then plain text. I think this is a better option because if I want to go to program, I click on it and then you get the link anyhow. So your cursor goes there to program. If I click on benefits, hyperlink's already there. You can jump down to benefits and just come back up to the top again. Now, if you add a page, so obviously these page numbers are what where the heading is, if I insert a page, so if I do a hard hard page break here, if I just control enter, so now that's gone on to page two, this needs to be refreshed. So when you click into this table, there's a refresh button there, which will change program to be on page two. If I click that refresh button, that's on page two. So once you've created this table of contents, any changes to your document will be picked up once you refresh using this little tool. Now, if you want to change the default styles, this is heading style one. Let's say you don't like that. So that's the font size. It's quite large. If I just come down to, say, 16, it's on bold. I love it italic as well. So I've changed that one. Now, if I go to heading style one, drop this down, you've got an option in here to update heading one to match. So I'll click on that. And then if I come down... All the heading ones are now down as wherever I've set that at. The size 16 bold, whether it's on caps lock, on cap, these are on caps lock, but it's actually size 16. Size 16. So you can change this if you don't like the default settings, or you can just leave it how it is. I normally have all the headings set to 12, they're just in bold not and not large fonts like these are set here to change the paragraph style so I've already done it on this because this was set to the default basically what you do is you go into a paragraph and the same sort of process applies up here you've got tools and this one is line and paragraph spacing so if you click into that the default setting is this one 1.15 I've changed that to single if I put that back, you can see how it just stretches that a little bit. So I'll, I'll change it back again to single because I don't like it stretched like that. And also in there, the paragraph space before and space after paragraph, you can click that and then it will get rid of any spaces that there might have been when you highlight this. So there's a space after. So I've got rid of the space before. So if I get rid of the space after, you'll see... Um, I need to do, I like this paragraph. Yeah, there's no space there. It's just a, a line. I've pressed enter like so. So that's okay. 
and on this paragraph, if I highlight this, yeah, I think there's a space after on this one. So if I just go in there and change that one, remove space after. So it just got rid of that shaded bit at the bottom there. So the default settings have a line, have a space after and before, but you can change them and then you can save this as your normal text. So then going forward, you don't have to keep doing that. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can create a table of contents using heading styles and how you can change those heading styles and change the default settings for a paragraph if you so wish. So hopefully this has been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.